Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And your boy, Stanley. All right, let me first apologize for last week. You know, what had happened was, um, it was Thanksgiving. It should have been Thanksgiving where you all were too. Um, we had like three Thanksgivings last week. Mm -hmm. And um, I was tired. I had gotten a week off of work at the end of the year. Couldn't believe I was able to get uh -huh. it. And I just ain't That's feel like getting, I just ain't feel like getting up on this camera. I stayed in the house all week. As you can see, you can still see my scrunchie print in my hair. <laughs> I stayed in the scrunchie all week. I got up, washed my hot pots, went back to bed, washed my hot pots, went back to bed. And I had to go to work. <laughs> So that's how my week was. We traveled a little bit um, mm -hmm. before I took my week off and that was about it. But before we get started, we want to give a major shout out to two people. We actually got some gifts and some cards in the mail this week, which is always a pleasant surprise and it's something mm -hmm. that's not required. Y'all know how we do. Everything yep. is always down in the description bar, but we never really announced that we have a P.O. box, all that good stuff. So y'all don't have to send us skit. Y'all attendance is enough for me. Yeah. So um, this week we had cards come through from Miss Deborah Allen, and she actually sent some gift cards and some goody stuff. So we gonna put that to good use. Yeah. And we appreciate it. And then we got a card from um, Laura Oakley. So. Um, I wish you all had put y'all screen names on there for YouTube so I can actually connect the dots between who everybody is. But I thank you all so, Appreciate so much. Um, you didn't have to do it. But you did. But you did. <laughs> but, um, let's... <clears throat> Alright, I watched last week's episode and we didn't miss much but the beat nah. down. Um, yeah. So we're not going to talk about it, but it will be probably referenced a few yeah, times. Re yeah, referenced back too because they kind of picked up a little bit where they left off at last week. But, but... I, at the end I'm this, confused. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm confused right now. Were we watching Spirit Lost? Uh, we were watching something or the movie where they said I see dead people. Cause I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to believe right now. All right, so we're gonna start off where they started off at. Now that they um, they they're recovering from the beat down. They got everybody over there at Jamal's house, and they're having a family sit down, and they're like, you know what? Okay, now we got an idea of how Miss Dubois is moving right now. Yeah. Um, Hakeem, she got you and your baby. Okay, now, okay, Jamal got you and your boo. So, okay, first of all, you all right? Any pills around right here? Alcohol, all that? Because this right here can is a recipe for you to go ahead and relapse. Jamal said, you know what? I'm, I'm good. good. I ain't got a matter of fact. Y'all ninjas can get out. <laughs> so then they turn their sights to Andre. Oh, and they said, Andre, now this is where you come into play because you seem like the only son that has not been touched by the mm -hmm. Dubois. Yep. So tell me, okay, do you have anybody new in your life? Anything that you need to tell us? So Andre, he being a smart ass. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, I, I got a new tailor. I got yeah. a new disc. Yeah, I, got I, I, I don't know nobody. I'm good. Lucia said, now you know good and hell you well. You know he, when his eyes start going again? You oh, know he lied. I'm good. <laughs> Lucia said, no, no, no. That ain't what we're talking about. So Andre still sat there and he denied it. After it was all said and done, Lucius told Cookie, said, you know what? I don't believe a word he said. So I'm going to stay on him and you stay and on, on Jamal. Jamal. I said, okay, now we cooking with some grease here. Yeah. And But Andre took everything that they said into account and he went to confront Pamela Rose. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ask Pamela Rose, say, hey, so you working with the Dubois? You're hired help to come and get next to my heart, take me and my family down. She was like, what the no, hell are you talking that. about? And I don't like being accused of something that I did, that I'm not able to, that I'm not doing. You know the biggest secret that I ever had, something that could put me in prison for the rest of my life. I killed someone and planted a gun on them. Da, 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 da. So he was like, you know what? You know, I'm sorry. Don't even worry about up. it. I you know, messed up. I, I got my people messed up, you know. <laughs> I didn't have the right measures more than that. You know, it's the other Pamela that did that first kid. <laughs> yeah. But y'all, I was laughing so hard when <laughs> when the brothers was all, all comparing their situations and how they got played. And they told Andre, look, don't get ahead of yourself. You, you can get played by this family. Andre said, listen. <laughs> I ain't got no babies to be snatched or no boyfriends to get <laughs> yeah. cheated on me. So y'all, I'm in the clear. I said, you know what, Andre, that wasn't fair. The, bro the brother said, you know what, Andre, we would have never brought up no skit like that. On you, yeah. Yes, y'all do. Y'all always bringing up skit on each other. 
<laughs> so, uh, so y'all remember the elevator scene? Hello. The Gondra was in there and they had to sing that song to your goddamn <laughs> tail to bring you around. What was the song? Oh. I can't even remember what the song was, but it brought him back around though. Oh my god. Oh, lean on me. <laughs> yeah, lean on me, yup. Cause Andre said, when you're not strong. <laughs> he said, and I'll be your friend. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop this bull skit night. <gasps> so, uh, so now we got Thursday on the case. Oh, Cause yeah. now Thursday, um, Lucius, they told Thursday, listen, I'm gonna need your help. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to do what you do best. Find out skit, take care of skit, and act like skit ain't happen after we get confirmed. I don't with know it. not one case that they done supplied Thursday with that he did not come back with valuable. <laughs> valuable information you know these bullshit lawyers are here now they all you go and talk to them oh we got some leads mm -hmm. fuck your leads i need to know what's going on thursday don't come back with just leads he come back with leads and information on how to get them suckers hey and he willing to do the job too exactly <laughs> I need a thirsty on my team. Like I told you, I said thirsty is everywhere you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so after um, Andre confronted um, Miss Pamela Rose, they got into this big old heated um, public altercation where he was arguing with her, she was arguing with him, but Thirsty was over there in the cut watching him with his flip phone. <laughs> he called over there and said, hey, Lucius, come over here and get your son. He's sitting over here. He tripping out. So Lucius and Thurston went on over there and confronted Andre. Told Andre, listen, Thurston don't told me that you over here acting a class fool out here in this public. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Andre cocks the attitude with Thurston. Thurston was looking at him <laughs> like, Andre, the same what you want. <laughs> they, they quickly got that under control a little, little bit. A little bit. So I said, okay, we're getting a little closer to finding out what the heck is going on. Because at some point I said, well, maybe Pamela Rose ain't got nothing to do. Maybe she really. Yeah, maybe she legit. Maybe she really a, a cop said, on, on the FBI and she done fell. Well, technically she is legit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess. I don't know. First of all, what, what FBI agent going to come to you and admit that they done killed somebody unless they like Andre? You I'm can't be say, in your right mind. Maybe I was saying, you know what, Lee Daniels is giving Andre an honest break. Because Andre don't got the skidded end of everything. Every deal, yep. His wife is dead. They ain't even yep. give her a fume. Yep. Her, his baby dead. Yep. I mean, God don't. When he tried to move into the neighborhood, the police, the police came, came and yeah, beat him down. Yeah, they ain't, yeah, that case just went on out the window. Thurston took care of it. Thurston took <laughs> care of it. So then we see this scene where Hakeem goes on over there to Empire. And he goes into a session that is with Tiana and Shine. But he basically went in there to be shady mm -hmm. and to talk crap to and about Tiana in Tiana's face. And Tiana wasn't about to have it. She was like, you know what? He told her, you know, you sound good, but you need to put some auto tune on it. Okay, first of all, when has sound good equated to put auto tune on it? Yeah. You put auto tune on it when it don't sound all that good. Exactly. It brings a little element to it. Yeah. So. Tiana was like, you know what, Hakeem, I'm sick of your skit. And she slapped um lizard dog skit out of him. <laughs> she slapped him just like Cookie would slap him. Yep. And I was here for him, walked up out of his face. Sean said, you know what, bruh? Come. You know come. what? You, you, need, you need some guidance. Uh, you need some you guidance. Need some guidance <laughs> God darn it. I'm going to be your counselor now. I was like, Sean, what the hell are you going to tell him? And I said, here to go to opportunists. Yeah. I thought he was just going to take this as an opportunity yep. to get his way. But to my surprise. He shocked the hell out of me. Him, but it's the old saying. Yeah. Um. I, well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Shine pulls up to um his spot. And we see two older ladies. And we mm -hmm. see a whole bunch of kids playing out in the yard. When he pulls up, nobody seems shocked. And I said, well, maybe he's like the... We thought, the we, thought it was a com we thought it was a commercial. <laughs> yeah, it was a commercial. <laughs> I said, well, maybe he's like the hood Santa. Everybody know who he is when he yeah, comes through. Uh -huh. He got gifts and stuff. So nobody really pays him any mind. Blah, blah, blah. Well, come find out it was two of his baby mamas. The third baby mama was out of town visiting her family. Yeah. But all the kids were sitting there getting along. He looked at Hakeem and he said, do you see anything, you know, Hakeem on? was like. He said, like, they get along. Like, what? He's like, yeah. Sean said, let me tell you something, young blood. 
I've learned a long time ago. Like they tell us, like they tell people in church, you don't play where you pray. That's right. Basically, wherever you're going to be at the most, don't you start up no relationship. Because mm -mm. when that skit goes down, everything it, yeah, goes down. Fucks up. Everything in your in that surrounding right there. Sean said, hey, our relationships ain't no different. You just got to choose relationships that ain't intertwined with your regular life. He said, well, me and, T me and K uh, Tiana got a connection. Like He said, but connections are lost. So in other relationships words, are failing. Yeah. So you got to cut that blood. He off. said the only thing that's, that's going to be saved is blood. Yep. And this right here. He said, man, you Muslim or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no. I was like, Sean, you know, you kicked a little wisdom with that one. Mm -hmm. I ain't agree with all that you said, but what you said made good God no mm -hmm. sense. It made good sense to Hakeem too. Yeah. So in Thurston's research, Thurston found out, listen, Miss Dubois keeps five guards on her at all times. Yeah. He identified the five guards and Cookie had ended up, <laughs> I figured out what she had did at first. Because at first I was like, what is she doing? She ended up going on the streets and confronting Mrs. Dubois. And she said, Angelo, well, Councilman T. Diggs, wanted me to give you back a ring that was, it's in the family, it was your grandmother's or something like that. So I need yeah. to return it back to you. So, of course, that caught her attention. Cookie went to give her the ring. But instead of her handing it to her, she took it and threw it in the street. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then, of course, that made it obvious who her guards were because they were the ones that went, went out in the, the street. So we're trying to figure out why Web Thurston was taking the pictures. Like, what they? Yeah. So yeah, Thurston taking the pictures so that he could figure out who's who in this crowd because ain't no normal Joe Blow gonna just jump out in the middle of the street, yeah. risk their lives if they ain't being paid. If they not being paid. So that's how he was able to wean out who was the guards, find their um, identity. But there was one guard. That was at present. Yep. And they said, if we find this guard, we can find one. He said, he said, I think his name is Smorgish Boy. <laughs> he said, sip, sip. It's Smorgish Boy. Boy. <laughs> if we find Smorgish Boy, we find one. Well, they found one. Uh. And I said, okay, the guard really won't own this job because he have you ever there. heard of changing other gods? Yeah, he out there walking the streets all willy nilly like Mike B said. And when Cookie saw that he was a free agent mm -hmm. and free man, um, she went up in his room, guns hot, said, mm -hmm. listen, you need to go to the police station and tell them that you threw the first punch. Because basically, Thurston already said, if we can get him to admit he threw the first blow. Three charges is gone right there. Three down. charges is gone. And the rest, piece of cake. I got those. But if he don't do that, then we got a problem. So Cookie said, go down there and do that. Moore said, okay. said, it's done. It's done. Okay. She said, but go ahead. While I got this gun on you, tell me what the plans is for Miss that Miss Dubois has for my family. And one went on to tell her what she needed to know. Yep. And basically said, listen, tell Jamal that I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. She said, you know what? I'm starting to feel sorry for you, but what you're not going to do. I never meant to cause any trouble. <laughs> I never meant to cause. And I'm not your messenger. So um, as, as much as we're having a little heart to heart right now, I got some things I need to take care of. Yeah. Warren fell for him, though. He did. We yeah, really he, knew yeah, that. He, yeah, he fell for him for real, though. Yeah. You think he gonna get his aunt back, though, Warren? I think so. Yeah. I, think so. I don't think he gonna take that land now. Yeah, it's, man, when you mess with somebody's heart, man. Yeah, that's 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 terrible. So then we see, um... <laughs> now, Jamal over there at his own place. Now he really has found a thing of pills and a bottle of wine. I said, Cookie, you didn't look good enough because that wine was right there. Right in the drawer, I and said, the pills rolled up in napkin. I said, okay. So now he's really thinking about going back to taking these pills and drinking this goddamn wine. And listening to the song that him and Warren did together in that living room. That's the worst thing you can do. I said, don't do this. And he I, crying and drinking. I, he didn't do the pills, though. He threw the pills away. I got to go down this rabbit hole right oh, here. Oh, God. I, when I was, when I was in school... And this girl I really love broke up with me. Your daddy told me about that. He broke <laughs> And I was sitting up in the room paying all Kelly, mm -hmm. Joe to shit, well, all the slow songs just thinking about her. And heck of my dad. You don't listen to all Kelly, you're going to want to pee on somebody. Heck of my daddy coming there, son. You know, listen to all that slow music ain't going to do nothing but make it make worse. Make it worse. <laughs> he said, you need to call all that skit off <laughs> and get your A out this room and get on with your life, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Daddy, you know what you're right. And I cut that bullshit off and went on about my life. 
Yeah, that thing ain't gonna slow music play on your emotions. Uh huh. Well, music in general will play on your emotion. That's why when you go to them funerals and you got that lead soloist mm -hmm. that sing that got those song, Precious, Precious Lord. Yeah. That's at every funeral. That brings the tears. Man, you be sitting there, your hallway ain't know nobody. Uh -huh. You just went to be supportive of the family. Yep. Next thing you know, you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know them. <laughs> so Ma matter of fact, matter of fact, you be riding by the church and your car hit that bush kid and start crying. Don't even know why. <laughs> I said, God, don't. <clears throat> oh, Lord. So, where the hell is we at? I don't even know. Um. Da, 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 Born. Born Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Andre, I mean, I meant uh, at, uh, at, uh, Jamal. at Jamal house. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hakeem happened to come on over and he said, bro, what we not going to do is be two drunk brothers over here crying about love. Yeah. What we need to do, we need to do a diss record. We need to do a clap back. Cut we gotta this clap. mess off. He so came over there with whistlers and, and, and cookies and cakes. and <laughs> I said, you got the munchies too? So, um. Uh, Come find out what had happened was they went ahead and did a mixed track. Do what they always do best. When yep. things go crazy, they do music together. Yep. Get each other over their little hurdles and they gonna be alright. So then we see Cookie and Lucius go over there to Andre's place. And they break it down to Andre. Listen, Warren told us what the plans were for you. So Stop all this lying. Yeah. Stop this bull skip. Who is this young lady that you been entertaining? And he was like, she's different. And the reason that I didn't bring her around was because she's a cop. She's not working with the Dubois. She's not this. She's not that. Da 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 da. But what they did, no, never mind. But don't even worry about all that. They told him, said, no, your therapist is the one. Is the one that's, that's the messing one. you up. Yep. And he was like, what? So said, where, you, where you medicine at? And Andre said, you know what? When I first started taking this meds, I just didn't feel 100%. <laughs> but I just thought that, you know, I needed to, you know, get used. You know how yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm going to get used to My the medicine. My body got to get yeah. used to the medicine. Well, she done bucked him all the way up. All the way up. So, they told Andre, they said, listen, I'm quite sure that the young lady that you are, that you really are in love with. Because he said he ain't thought he could love nobody like this as Rhonda. You know, I'm quite sure she's a very swell girl. We can't wait to meet her and to bring her into the fold, whatever. So Andre felt a little good about that relationship. Uh -huh. He said, let me go make this thing right. So he calls her and he called and left her a message and told her, say, listen, I need to explain what's going on with me. You know, there are things that you don't understand. You know, the way my family is set up, you know, I, I, I jumped the gun. Yeah. It is what it is, but please call me back. Before he could even um, hang up the phone, not, not, not. She came. She came over. Yeah. Yeah. Open the door. Yeah, I guess. And she had a gun in her hand. I was like, I said, did she come to shoot him? Well, Pamela Rose um, said, you know what? I don't appreciate you questioning me. I told you the deepest, darkest secret, something that could put me away forever. Hmm. And you gonna still question me by something that you feel like your family is being set up by. You don't trust me when I told you that this is what I did. I killed someone and I planted the gun. Matter of fact, here's the gun. Here's the gun. Turn me in. Lock me up. Throw, throw away the key. key. I don't care. And he was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up. I really did mess up. And she said, you know what, Andre? We can't do this. We can't do this because you don't trust me. And and I, I told you the deepest, darkest secret of my heart. And do you know how it feels? To kill somebody and to have that weighing on your heart. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know the pressure and and the guilt that you feel by knowing that you took somebody's life. And Andre said, yeah. Pamela! I, I do. do. I do know what it feels like. <laughs> I said, oh, skit. Oh, oh, skit. Hell. oh, skit. Oh, skit. Oh, skit. Oh, skit. Come like, Andre? Shut up. Come back. Come. Come back. He said, I got something to tell you. I do know that feeling. That car bombing. In Vegas, I did that. I, I did this. I tried, I tried to, kill. to kill my daddy. She looked at him. She said, "I got, got you. you." He said, "What?" Well, said, "I got you." 
She says, see what you didn't know was, I already knew all of this. And no, I'm not working with um, NYP, NYPD. NYPD, yeah. Who? NYPD. NYPD. Um, I'm actually Vegas Metro. And you know that little dude, what was his name? Um, um, I can't remember. This. Franco. Franco, yeah. Franco, I know about him, what was left of him. Juliana, yeah. got a little too mm -hmm. close, got killed. And you. I already so, knew about you. So guess what? You under arrest. And you're going to prison forever. Ever. I said, oh God. Now, <laughs> at the same time, oh, excuse me. Now at the same time, Thursday had delivered the information to Lucius and them and said, listen, I went a little further than what y'all paid me to do. But I come to find out that there ain't no, no Pamela, Pamela Rose, Rose in the NYPD. Now that may be a Pamela Rose on back page. Yeah. There may be a Pamela Rose on Craigslist. Or Facebook or Instagram. One of them Instagram hoes. Hey. But she ain't one of she them. She don't work for them. And I said, hold on, wait a minute. Didn't I see Andre looking at her, looking at me, me seeing him looking at her yeah. on the TV? Yeah. As a police officer that yeah. was it. Matter of fact, he seen her in the in the line of duty, didn't he? Yes. He got in her car. He went to her car. Yeah. And I said, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. But I said, okay, wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at this time, so cooking them and they them like all skip. Over. We got to get over there. She working with the Dubois for real. Uh -huh. so I'm we like, got to go. I'm we like, got Andre, to go. shut up, go. shut up, shut up. Cookie tried to call Andre. He swiping. Nope. Ignore. Next thing we know, Miss Pamela Rose pulls a gun out on Andre. I said, so what you gonna do? Ain't you, aren't you supposed to arrest him and not shoot him? Well, then there was a struggle. Yep. And there was a tussle. Gunshots fired. And next thing we know, Andre was able to get her down on the floor and told her to calm her hard parts down. And the chandelier was going side to side. And I said, oh God, that gun is gonna point up. It She's gonna, gonna shoot. shoot mm -hmm. And the chandelier is gonna fall on top of her. Or fall on top of him. Yes, yeah, so I was like, oh, scared, oh, scared. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, Pamela Rose stopped moving. She stopped breathing. He was choking her though. Yeah, yeah I didn't see that part. Yeah, he was choking her. And all of a sudden, her dead. Mm-hmm. Then all, we got cooking. He tripping out. He tripping out. So. I didn't mean. Oh, I didn't mean. Uh, I didn't mean. Uh, Next thing we know, Cookie and Lucius end up at the door, banging on the door. Andre, if you don't let me in, I'm coming in. I said, that's what Monday mm -hmm. will do for you. Come on through the door, cause yeah. you probably pay that rent. Yeah. They came through the door. All of a sudden, I saw I saw Lucius say Lucius had his hat. Lucius said, Lucius was looking. I was just like, I didn't mean to do it. 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 He was like, What? What? What you talking about? I loved her. I loved her. I loved her. What you talking about? She played me, mom. She played me. She over there on the floor. She over there. They said. She said, "There's, there's nobody." She said, "It's just don't do that to me, mama. Don't do, don't do that to me." And Lucius said. There's nobody here. And we look. And I said, is there nobody here? And look, and there was nobody. <laughs> I was like, what in the living hell is going on here? The first thing I thought back to when he was at the club and he couldn't get up, was that before or after that doctor got the medicine? See, For I don't some remember. reason, I thought it was before because I, I don't know. But. This also in my mind right here too. This could definitely be a stretch of my imagination. So if this girl won't real, did this mean that Lucy's explosion won't real? All that bullshit going on in the Empire <laughs> ain't real. Matter of fact, the whole motherfucking season is not real. All that's in Andre's mind. You know what? Because with cooking them calling, how you get a call for somebody that don't exist? Because if that wasn't real with him being there, how did he get a call from Cookie? You see that? I'm so confused. He was at the place at the diner and nobody was supposed to have been there, but the people act like they saw somebody there. Yeah. But nobody was there. Happened. I thought Thurston saw somebody because he called Lucius them. So that means that call never happened. No, the call happened. Andre was there. Andre been in the places. He no. just been by himself. No, what I'm saying is just like on that movie, he said, I see dead people. All the stuff was <laughs> never real. It was all in his mind. And then after the movie, they went back and showed you how <laughs> all it was. And watch. So on next week, they're going to fast forward back. And you remember that at the end of the day, Andre was laying in that 
in that hospital bed. You see that? Yeah, I did. And he gonna wake up and everything will be back to normal. You watch. I don't know. That might they be. They bull us this whole season. They did. All of us gonna be pissed off. That might be 50% true. That none of this was real. Maybe the, the Pamela Rose part won't true. Because he wasn't on that medicine when he was in Vegas. So he really did try to blow his daddy up. Sure about that? Because you <laughs> mama, he, cause you mama, at one point he stopped taking that goddamn medicine. I don't know what's real. I don't know what's I don't, real. I don't even know what's real. I don't think I know Jesus is real. <laughs> I, I, know, I, I said, is you real? What the hell is real? <laughs> So, and at first I thought Cookie and Lucius was playing those nothing ever happened games. You didn't mm -hmm. see nothing. Yeah, that's what see, I thought. Yeah. I didn't see NATO. You didn't see NATO. I yeah. thought it was one of those things. Until I looked over there myself. I, and I was like, hell, I don't see a body evil. <laughs> and Audrey, and they started doing the quick, the quick clips. And yeah. Audrey all on the floor, yeah. hugging <laughs> himself. He, and I said, was you humping yourself in the bed too? Yeah, kissing yourself in the bed. <laughs> on the porch. So you was just on you were just on the balcony and just, just strip teasing yourself? Yep, she won't even there. Which I actually thought was weird when it was happening, but. Yeah. Dang. Cookie looked at Lucius and said, she did this to my baby. This I'm taking her down. Diana Dubois, you a nasty motherfucker. Let me, let me tell you what it make you feel like. As long as y'all been watching us, and then one day we tell y'all that we ain't real. <laughs> that all this was all in your head. And then we never existed. When you go to type in random TV reviews, you be it's like, all gone. It's gone. So after you watch the video, you come back, all that skit is gone. You be like, what the hell? I know I've been watching them for the last couple of years. I sent some stuff to their P.O. Say, box. Matter of fact, let me get on the phone and book an appointment with my doctor to test my brain. I'll make sure I'm good. <laughs> huh. That's some bullshit. Right That's some bullshit, man. They meant, yeah. That's why I got a feeling that none of it was real. Hmm. Maybe that's gonna be how he how he bring us back in. Cause this season been skit. They, I bet you they went in there and rewrit that bull skit. Cause all of us was pissed off coming through all these things and Lucia just coming back in the last few episodes. And I guess he all the way back. But you maybe know, that's not real either. <laughs> but you know what? You got a point. Cause remember what I said from the first episode. For the for the rest of Empire history, you mean to tell me we gonna have Lucius with no leg? Yeah. Seriously? I think he, I think in real life he still got a leg. <laughs> in Andre mind, he almost got blown up. <laughs> or maybe the explosion was a trigger. And maybe anything after the explosion, he don't made up. Maybe the explosion got Andre. And he in a coma. I'm so messed up right now. Hmm? We gone, cause I'm not gonna sit here. Yeah, today. yeah. We just throwing. Y'all just let us know what y'all think in the comments. We just throwing it out here. You can say it bullshit or what. Every time y'all say my stuff is bullshit, it up getting coming true. It really does. It up coming true. So I can't wait to watch the rest of the YouTubers to see what they say about yeah. this. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's almost like the Mandela effect. Like Fruit Loops. F O O T or F U I T. <laughs> But they said, I'm, I'm going to leave y'all with this, and then we're we going to go out and listen to a YouTube video one time. And they said, you know when you're dreaming, you can't tell if it's real life or not, or you dream. You don't know. So, when you wake up the next day, how you really know you woke up in a reality that you went to sleep in? See, don't start this mess. Straight from the VA. <laughs> turn, turn it south. Two up. Two down.